What is it guys, Mighty here, bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 best class setup video on the XR2. Before I get started into this, I want to ask you for some questions you can leave in the comment section below that me and my cousin will be answering very shortly. So please ask them questions and I'll definitely try and answer them in a upcoming video. Anyway, getting on to the XR2 best class setup. This gun is a very, I don't know, it's a gun that some people love, some people hate it. It's basically... A, a different variant of the MA A7. A uh, basically, it's a free burst gun, but it's not a manual burst. You can actually hold down the trigger and it will do the bursts for you, which is something new we've not seen in Call of Duty, and this is one of the guns. So, what I like to run in it is Elo Sight or Red Dot. The Iron Sights aren't very good, you get a lot of blocked view with it. And then I like Stock and Rapid Fire. Rapid fire, just because it increases the burst, it's either rapid fire or long barrel, it's between them two when I play with this gun. And then stock just for maneuverability, because that's what I like to have on burst weapons, so you can strafe better while aimed in. Tap mask, fast hands, kind of just default for mine, and then ghost and flap jacket. Honestly, blind eye and flap jacket's a good uh, setup to go for as well, but really, that's all personal preference. So... Why would I use rapid fire and not long barrel? I would use rapid fire, let's say, if it's on a shorter range map. And her the iron sights are, by the way, guys. That's how vile the iron sights are. That's why I'm using Elo. But I'd use the rapid fire from a shorter range map. If I'm on a long range map like Hunted, then I may consider using long barrel. This gun also has had a recent buff, so it's like one burst kill rate is more consistent now. So. With one burst, you will probably be getting more kills than after two burst people, which is kind of nice for the gun. But again, you do have to make sure all three of them bullets are going to sink into that enemy, uh, because obviously if only two of the three bullets out of a burst don't, uh, well, hit the enemy, then it's not going to kill me, you have to have another burst. So it's a gun that you've got to be accurate with for it to return the favor of the kill. So how would you play with this weapon? Uh, you play fairly passive with the weapon when I've used it. It kind of comes natural because you can't rush into a building, get a four piece with it. It's not one of them type of guns. You've got to sit back, predict where the enemies are going to go, and then basically just get the kills. Like here, I, I'm very close to messing up that double kill just because the bur it's a burst weapon. It's not ma made for close range uh, combat and you know, it's a bit unlike the M8. It's... I don't know, the M8 fires faster, I guess, at short range. The hip fire rate on the XR2 is not as good as the M8 either. You definitely have to aim in sights with it. It's definitely not a gun you want to be hip firing with. So also be aware of that. You don't need grip on it or anything because its accuracy is good. You might want to stick quick draw on if you're trying to... You know, if you are going to aim now sights around every corner and stuff, but it's not a necessity. It's ADS time. It's fine without it. So, moving on, the gun is a good gun. Do I use it a lot? Personally, no, but some people do love it, so definitely give it a try. This is obviously a good class setup. If you don't have rapid fire or long barrel, then you can still use the gun, but I suggest that when you do unlock these attachments, you try them out and see how you do with the gun. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day, as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace.